All right, so each time I mow, what I'm doing is using this lawn sweeper. Roosters are loud today. Using this lawn sweeper uh, to just run over the lawn real quick and the grass and pick it all up and pick up all of that. So hopefully you can see. I'll bring you over here so you can. So I just made a couple passes and got a little pile of <clears throat> got a little pile of uh, grass and leaves and such and we're going to continue working silly roosters we're going to continue working and putting this into the soil and adding as much organic matter to that as possible so the uh, lawnmower I'm using here this is a bad boy 725 cc magnum and it's a 54 inch because they were out of 60 inch when I bought this, but it's been a good mower, does a, does a pretty good job. But um, our soil we tilled up, if you were watching the other day, we used the Yanmar tractor and tilled all this up. And now we're just going to work on getting the organic matter put in here and adding amendments. So we'll make some more videos and show you what amendments and things we're gonna add to that. We will probably also, bring at least one of those uh, chicken coops over here around to this and let the chickens in here for a while. All right, so I'm back at it today. We're um, working on uh, adding some more organic material to this garden bed. So my wife and I went up into the woods and got a bunch of leaves and stuff, brought them down here in the tractor. But uh, leaves and stuff take a really long time to break down. We want them for their fungal ability to add fungal uh, uh, additives to the soil. And so we also don't have, you know, a shredder or any way to shred all those leaves and stuff up and make them smaller so they'll break down faster. So we've, we have a, a handy tip, a handy way to show you how to break those up. So let me show you how that works. We've already done some, but here are, here are the leaves we brought down out of the forest and we've got them in this metal trash can the metal trash can and then we're going to use the weed eater this little electric dewalt weed eater to um, shred them up so let's give it a try and show you how that works not perfect but it does shred these shred these up quite a lot it's hard to see in the shade of this tree but it did shred all that stuff up pretty well um, I think if we had a bigger can that's the only metal can we have if we had a bigger can it would probably do a better job you know a little bit bigger around or a smaller weed eater so one of those two and then we're just gonna take that material and drop it into drop it into our bed and we'll get this water down until then. So we put some more leaves in the little can here. That's what they look like. This is what they look like before we shred them. And let me show you what they look like after. And a little more strange. All right, so there, got it shredded up pretty good. So it has helped shred them, break those down so that they will break down in the soil faster. 
we'll just keep doing this until we have enough to, uh, enough organic matter added to the soil. So now we're just putting all the grass clippings and everything that we have collected, putting them out here. My lovely assistant's adding some water to it and could compost this in one pile in place and let it break down and then spread it out. But we're actually probably going to till this all in. So we'll just keep adding material to this until we get the soil to a little bit less sandy condition. You can see, this is really, it's like beach sand, but you can see the grass and stuff in here from where I tilled it up, but it is like walking in a beach. Here's the woodpecker, he's close. Bring a shovel, it'd be easier for picking up manure, but boy. Leaf rake. So we're also out in our woods where the horse and donkey are. And we're gonna pick up some of their manure and some more leaves and stuff out here. But we've got nice big piles of manure. Kind of already broken up in some places, but this will be good additive to our soil over there. Takes a little bit of work walking around, but scooping stuff up, and breaking it up, and composting it. But if you want to grow food, it's worth the effort. If you want to create a good, healthy soil, it's worth the effort. Comes the helper. Here comes the helper. Not much help, are you? What do you mean? He made all this. Well, you did. I guess that's true. You made this manure. Thank you for your poop, donk. All right, let's drive to the next pile. <clears throat> Look at that little dung beetle. Get that guy on video. Funny, at our old homestead, we never saw these ever, but you find these dung beetles here, and they literally just carry all this away. There's like five of them in here. You turn it to bright, sawdust. Bright green Fast. ones. And then some of them with black shells. Look at this guy, just rolling that away. Watch that. A little beetle carrying this stuff away. And what they're going to do with it, I'm not going to find out right now. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. Out here in the woods, we're also collecting stuff that we find bits of trash, like a fork. <laughs> and we also found some cans and doorknobs and all kinds of stuff that have been left behind by previous occupants. And previous disasters of some kind. It looks like there, maybe there was a trailer house out here that exploded and uh, <laughs> threw everything. It went everywhere. But, I mean, years and years ago, it's mostly been cleaned up. <laughs> 